I'm sure you know that this Sunday is Mother's Day when we celebrate mothers and grandmothers and aunts and all of the women and people in our lives that take care of us and love us and nurture us. So the first book I want to share with you is Mother's Day by Anne Rockwell with pictures by Lizzie Rockwell and it's published by Harper Collins Publishers. Eveline, what are you going to do at school today? asked Mama. I can't tell you, I said. That's a secret. At school, Nicholas and I walked down the hall together. Hey, Evelyn, he said. Did you remember to bring one? I nodded and showed him a shiny gold button. Mine's yellow with red stripes, he said. Wonder what they're gonna do with the button. At circle time, Mrs. Madoff said, what holiday will we celebrate on Sunday? Mother's Day, we all shouted. Good. Did everyone remember to bring a button, she asked. Everyone had. Eveline, how will your family celebrate Mother's Day, asked Mrs. Madoff. My mama will be very happy, I said. My big brother will come home from college. He and papa will make beignets and I'll roll them in powdered sugar. We won't let Mama do anything because Sunday is her special day. Mom and I are going hiking to the top of Chickasaw Mountain, said Jessica, just the two of us. She loves to hike and so do I. I bought the kind of sweet, fat, black seedless grapes she loves for our picnic. Dad and I are going to build, give mom of the birdhouse we built, said Evan. It has a tiny hole. The hole is tiny so that only wrens can fly in or out. Wrens are the cutest birds in our yard. That's what mom says. My mother died when I was a baby, said Sarah. My dad and I live with my grandma, who's his mother. She does everything for me that mothers do. On Mother's Day, dad and I will take her to a restaurant that has the kind of food her mom cooked. Pablo said, last week my father was bulldozing. Suddenly he saw a little dogwood tree he stopped his bulldozer just in time. He dug it up, roots and all, and put it in our garage. On Mother's Day, we'll plant it in our yard. That little dogwood tree sure will make my mother happy. We're not doing anything for Mama on Mother's Day, said Charlie. Instead, she is throwing a baby shower for her twin sister, Aunt Louisa. My aunt is going to have a baby. Then she'll be a mother to her baby, like mama is to me. Dad says mama sure is nice to share her special day with Aunt Louisa. Kate said, daddy's been teaching me to play the violin while mommy's at work. I can play the piece I learned for you. Kate tucked the violin under her chin picked up the bow and played. I practice my piece every day, she said, as soon as we finish clapping. I want to play it perfectly on Mother's Day. Mashiko said, my mother is tired of only looking at the pictures she draws. So my father and I decided the best gift to give her was an all day trip to the biggest museum in the city. On Mother's Day, we're going shopping at the mall for a new kitchen table. I took all the money out of my piggy bank, Sam said. It will help us buy my mother a new table with chairs to match. Don't forget me, said Nicholas. You know I never would, Mrs. Madoff said. My mom loves animals, but all we have is a goldfish. Do you know what? She's getting a puppy for Mother's Day, and I picked him out.
Mrs. Madoff said it was time to make our Mother's Day presents. A lady I never saw before came into our classroom. Boys and girls, said Mrs. Madoff, here's Annie. She's my mom. She's going to show us how to make paper flowers with our buttons. We started with a circle of green construction paper. Then we cut petals from tissue paper and glued them all around the circle. That made the flower. Then we glued our buttons in the center of each tissue paper flower. Finally, we cut out leaves and we glued them to fuzzy pipe stem cleaners. When we glued the pipe stem cleaners to the flowers, our flowers had leaves and stems. My pink and red rose with its shiny gold center was the most beautiful thing in the world. That's what Mama said. She loved that rose and the beignets that I brought her on Mother's Day. the end. I hope you enjoyed this book. And it shows us a lot of different ways to celebrate Mother's Day, like cooking a special meal for your mom, planting a tree, making a birdhouse, uh, doing something with your mom that she loves, like going mountain climbing on a hike. Um, there are lots of ways that we can show our appreciation and love to our mothers and those who love us on Mother's Day. So I hope you and your family have a wonderful and happy Mother's Day. The next book I want to share with you is Grandmother and I by Helen Buckley with pictures by Jan Ormerond. And it's published by Lothrop Lee and Shepherd Books. Grandmother and I are sitting in the big chair, rocking. We rock back and forth, back and forth, and Grandmother hums little tunes, and her shoes make soft sounds on the floor. Other people have laps, too. Mother's laps are good, but there's not enough when there's not enough room on the bus or when you need to have your shoes tied and your hair braided. Father's laps are good when you want to be a cowboy or do tricks. But grandmother's lap is just right if you have a bad cold. We sit in the big chair and rock back and forth and back and forth. And grandmother hums little tunes and her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. Brothers and sisters let you ride on their backs. But when they read aloud to you, they want you to sit beside them. But grandmother's lap is just right when lightning is coming in the window. We sit in the big chair and rock back and forth and back and forth. And grandmother hums little tunes and her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. Grandfather's laps are good after you've been for a walk or when you want to count the cars going by. But grandmother's lap is just right when the cat's been gone for two days and you don't want to do anything but sit in the big chair and rock back and forth and back and forth while grandmother hums little tunes and her shoes make a soft sound on the floor. And look, the cat came back. make soft sounds on the floor. This book is a beautiful book about the relationship with grandmothers. So we wanted to honor grandmothers also today as we're celebrating Mother's Day this weekend. I hope you enjoyed this book and have a great Mother's Day with your family.